Welcome to the jungle. Your deputy leaders, Shara, Ali and I have been here all day meeting refugees from all kinds of different places, from Eritrea, Afghanistan, Sudan. Not all of them here to find a life in the UK, but all of them here to, find the, to pursue their hopes and their dreams of a better future. It's been really enlightening, really inspiring to meet people here and see what people have managed to do so much with so little resources. I want you to meet Alpha, who um, will tell you a bit about his experience in the jungle and his ideas. Okay, my name is Alpha. Uh, I moved my county for 10 years. I was in uh, Turkey one year, six years in Greece, and then I come here, I was in Belgium, after Belgium, here in France, I would like to go to England because first I love England in my heart and uh, I have problem in my country, that's why I run there to find so where to refugees. So I live here for eighth, eighth month in this camp and the camp, the people are here, uh, they need just for help, they need help because the situation here is not easy, it's difficult, they just need help. They, have dream to want to come to England just to find where to refugees. Not they come here to make, come there to make troubles or something like that. We don't have in that mind. So the other things is uh, we invite David Cameron to come here to see what happened in this place and without telling our swarm or something like that. So when he come here, he will see what happened here and we invite him to share what he have to us is important more than to take billion, million um, money for fence. That money we need, we need and is enough to us when we give us, and that I said, to come to see what happened here. So I am very happy to see you, you in this place to see what happened here. So I say thanks for everybody. God bless England. <laughs> I think it's a real education uh, to come here with Amelia on behalf of the Green Party and I think it's a confirmation as well of the situation that people find themselves in which is not as described by the leaders in the UK who are propagandizing for their own purposes and it's just very humbling to meet people who are trying to create a dwelling for themselves, a temporary dwelling in the most harsh of situations, but to do so with great dignity. We also met with the, the worldwide tribe in Calais and they are a voluntary group um, who set up very recently and they brought with them a whole set of goods and we helped them offload them from, from the van, which are goods which Brits have actually donated, uh, shoes and other items of clothing. And I think that really, for me, the take-home message is that people are not going to be fooled by the ugly rhetoric of our leaders. Instead, they are hospitable, not hostile, towards these brilliant people who are fleeing from desperate situations, which we are co-responsible for and need to tackle in the long term. We also met with French Greens, and I've got here um, uh, Marie uh, Trondolier and she serves on the French Greens executive and she's also a councillor in uh, Le Pen's city um, and she knows a lot about uh, racism. Hi everybody, uh, so today was a fight against two things. The first one is prejudices um, about English people who in fact are not uh, all of, uh, of uh, David Cameron's opinion and uh, the worldwide tribe uh, shows it. So thanks a lot uh, you guys uh, for your coming. The second thing was a fight uh, against uh, prejudices about the migrants and we see that uh, the English people, the French people can send a lot of money in Calais, but a lot of, a lot of money to build walls, uh, to build walls and to uh, avoid that the migrants uh, can climb uh, on the frontier. And in fact, this money could be more efficient if it was uh, given to the migrants to help them because these guys, they are going for a lot of awful things and they just want to serve a country, to have a life, to work and to make a living. So this was uh, the, the second thing we learned today. And uh, really, I thank you guys for your coming. See you next time maybe with David Cameron, uh, who could, uh, um, instead of telling things uh, in the newspaper, uh, t tell it uh, directly to the to the migrants. Uh, yes. So sorry for my English, and uh, see you next time. <laughs> Thank you.